Hello everyone. I hope all of you all are doing well. In EVS, we have talked about the sounds of animals, the features of animals, and today we are going to do domestic animals. Yes, and you may be wondering what are domestic animals? Domestic animals are also called farm animals as they stay in the farm. Yes, I'll be showing you pictures of few domestic animals. Yes, this is a buffalo. Yes, it is a domestic animal and it gives us milk. Right? And then we move on to the next one. This is a sheep. Yes, it gives us wool. And it says, ba. it bleeds. It bleeds. Now, the next one, we have the horse. And the horse neighs. The horse Nays. Now moving on to the next domestic animal is the cow. It gives us milk and it moves. So we have come to know a few domestic animals. Now we will be doing in brief a few more domestic animals with the help of our rhyme. So I am sure all of you are excited and ready for it. So today we will be talking about domestic animals. Yes? Domestic animals are farm animals. That means they stay in the farm. And who will be taking us around the farm? The farmer. Yes, the farmer will be taking us around. So let's begin. The farmer in the dell. The farmer in the dell. Hey ho the cherry ho the farmer in the dell. The farmer has a cow. The farmer has a cow. Hey ho the cherry ho the farmer has a cow. The cow gives us milk. The cow gives us milk. Hey ho the cherry ho the cow gives us milk. So the first animal we are going to do is a cow. Yes? And what does the cow give us? It gives us milk so that we are strong and healthy. Right? Where does the cow stay? It stays in a Shed. Yes, it stays in a shed. It is called a cow shed. Yes, and, yes, and a baby cow is called a calf. A baby cow is called a calf. Right? Now we move on to the next animal. The sheep gives us wool. The sheep gives us wool. Hey ho the cherry ho the sheep gives us wool. So the next animal we are going to talk about is the sheep. Yes and what does the sheep give us? The sheep gives us wool and it stays in a barn. So in the farm the place for the sheep stays is a barn. A baby sheep is called a lamb. A baby sheep is called a lamb. Yes? Yes? Now the next animal. The hen gives us eggs. The hen gives us eggs. Hey ho the cherry ho the hen gives us eggs. So next animal we are going to talk about is a hen. Yes? And what does the hen give us? It gives us egg. And a hen stays in a coop. Where does the hen stay? In a Coop. Baby hen is called a chick. Yes, a baby hen is called a chick. The horse gives us ride. The horse gives us ride. Hey ho, the cherry ho, the horse gives us ride. So, next animal is a horse and it gives us a ride. Yes, and it stays in a stable. It stays in a Table and a baby horse is called a foal. A baby horse is called a foal. Now, the pig gives us meat. The pig gives us meat. Hey ho, the cherry ho, the pig gives us meat. Yes, and a baby pig is called a piglet. A baby pig is called a piglet. Yes, and the pig stays in a pigsty. animal that is called a donkey. 
The donkey carries our goods. The donkey carries our goods. Hey ho, the cherry ho, the donkey carries our goods. Yes. So the next animal is a donkey and it helps us to carry a goods. And it also, like the horse, stays in a stable. So where does it stay? It stays in a stable. Yes, where does the a donkey stay? In a stable. And a baby donkey is called a foal. It is called a foal. What is it called a foal? So we have learnt a few domestic animals. Yes, like the cow, sheep, hen, horse. Yes, a pig and a donkey. Right? Now, we'll be doing some work in our book. Now, in our EVS notebook, we are going to write about the domestic animals and their babies. So, please write as shown in the PDF the different domestic animals and their babies. I'm sure y'all will be doing it nicely and following the instructions.